Your Life in Sex Island, Chapter 4, Illustrious Immigration, page 82. What do we know for sure? Immigration is the Kimoi and Matsu, the missile gap, the communism, the tough on crime, and the terrorism of the 2010 election cycle, overtaken by the depression cycle. Call it the epicycle. Crank it up, baby. Let's not talk about the issues. Let's talk about this old, old cinder dating back at least to 1894 when George Pullman, owner of the Pullman Palace Car Company, imported Mexicans to break the Pullman strike. This cold cinder, which we will rediscover whenever we need a red herring. Step right up, folks. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Mexicans are invading our country rather than starve to death. We used to call them wetbacks, but that is no longer politically correct. Now they are illegal aliens, something like E.T., Elf, Jab of the Hut, Predator, but not quite so nice or from so far away, and they don't speak English as well as Chewbacca. Maybe they need a babblefish, but what the hell. For voters who don't know that Kansas is a state, instead of a stopover on the way to Oz and don't know who's buried in Jimmy Hoffa's tomb or what in like Flynn means, it's all the same. We are being invaded by aliens, illegal aliens, who, by the way, like Reagan's black bucks, are living off all our welfare money, which we've been told is most of our taxes. Not only are they living off all of our welfare, but they are simultaneously taking all of our jobs and occupying all of our schools and emergency rooms. What the hell is going on? The news and the politicians make no more sense, nor do we expect them to, nor do they intend to. Sense was tried and the ratings were low. Let's stick to cleavage, banter, and oh my God, there's a war on Christmas. We can figure it out for ourselves as we must. What do we know for sure? Who benefits? Follow the money. Obviously, the immigrants benefit. They send back home about $20 billion per year about $2,000 each. They are here by the millions, we are repeatedly told, between seven and 20 million, estimate about 12 million, increasing the U.S. labor force by about 10%. If they did not benefit, they would go get back home in a minute and flow of immigrants crossing the border would stop pronto. So we know for sure that it is better to wash dishes or cut lawns in the United States and live five to an apartment than it is to not work in Mexico and other points south, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Wow, how did things get so bad down there, and what would it take to fix them? Who else benefits? Obviously, the people who hire immigrants at substandard wages benefit. Often, though not always, these are small building, road, and roofing contractors, mom-and-pop restaurants, and landscapers although large firms knowingly hire them through contractors. What else do we know for sure? If it were only the immigrants and small business owners who benefited from the influx of illegal immigrants, the flow would have been stopped permanently in the 19th century. No politician gives a shit about illegal immigrants or small businesses. How do I know that for sure? I live it every day. We are nothing but a vein for the tax Dracula. When they drive one sucker to go bust, they just say, next, next sucker, who's next? Step right up, bare your throat. Nope, many big guys benefits for sure. How? When there's a surplus of 12 billion workers, 10%, remember, who will do anything for any pay, there's a huge downward pressure on wages and the effective force for breaking union. Who benefits the most? Whoever is the largest employer in the United States. Who is the next largest beneficiary? Whoever is the second largest employer in the United States of America? Don't ever forget who owns the government. The big guys do. They are the boss and the government employees, representatives, senators, and presidents will do whatever they are told. And they are told to talk about the immigration crisis and do nothing effective to stop it. Let's give Boeing trillions of dollars to build the Chinese Wall, the Maginot Line, Hadrian's Wall, and the Berlin Wall along the border. It makes it look like we are taking firm action. It cannot work. It is not intended to work. It will not work. That we know for sure.
Purchase the book now by clicking on the link in the description below.